Hi, my name is Bob Grinier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. This is the MFMP's Hutchison sample number 16, the meteorite. And I've said before that I believe that this is possibly the most interesting of all the samples we have. So I'm just going to do some focus pulling here uh, so you can see the tip there of the glass-like inclusion. Go down onto the body and through to the rim. And then just change the lighting slightly so that you can see some of the reflection shapes there. And also to the glass inclusion. And I'll have a look around it. Now, the absolute fascinating thing about this sample is that this sample was not in the active area. That is the area where John has kind of defined for the effect, the Hutchison effect, to occur. This sample was found in another part of the lab near to a large capacitor and so one wonders how this agglomeration of all kinds of different materials would relocate and group in that particular place And on closer inspection, you'll see that this is absolutely loaded with these so-called spheres. And I think if you really think about this, this is going to be able to tell you a lot about what is going on with this strange process. I'm going to turn the sample over so you can see a little bit more of the other side. I'm try and crack out the microscope and try and get some really close shots of this material. Here you can see some polymer strands caught in this agglomeration.